I'm Kelly and welcome to Kapowski Reads and this is my Low Spend Diary June update. I like to do a sort of update every month to just sort of chat about the things I have used, the things I have obtained and how much I have spent <laughs> if I have bought things. I also like to chat about my favourite things of the month that, you know, hopefully didn't cost me any money. I forgot to give my favourites last month but I have not forgotten this month. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready, I'm prepared. So first up I want to share my empties and I feel like as the year goes on I have fewer and fewer empties but that might also be because I've decided not to share when I finish a deodorant or a shampoo that is for the house. I can't take credit for finishing those. There's four people using that shampoo and I know I've forgotten to include various soaps. Please trust I am washing with soap. If I don't include it as being finished I promise. I I get compliments for smelling nice. I, I'm, I'm not stinky. I am using soap. Um, so let's go through my empties for June first. I will start with hair stuff. While I'm not including the shampoo because that's a shared product, the conditioner is definitely not a shared item. I use this all by myself and I love this shampoo except I no longer have long, long hair. I, I got it cut so maybe I don't need dream lengths right now because I don't have really long hair <laughs> anymore. So I might look for a new conditioner. I'm currently using a L'Occitane Almond conditioner because I got a nice gift set for my birthday and I mean look look at this bounce. I'm loving that. Maybe that will be a favourite next month. I also finally finished my VO5 heat protector. I thought I was going to finish this. Was it last month that I bought the replacement? I didn't need it and now that I again cut my hair I'm actually drying. I blow drying my hair sometimes and I have managed to finish this. This is my favourite heat protection. I have a replacement of the exact same kind that I got a wee while ago so I'm sticking with this. And a teeny tiny Lee Stafford hairspray. This is my travel hairspray. We went on a little staycation and I took this with me and I have had this hairspray for the longest time and it just was the little little can that could and I finally finished it. This, while I am usually a VO5 stronghold hairspray girl, this I love. It smells amazing and I had forgotten how much I loved this but my current hairspray, again the little can that could, that has been almost finished for months. I bought a replacement ages ago. I don't need to use the replacement yet. So I don't anticipate I will need to buy a hairspray until the end of the year. But when I do, maybe I will be getting more of this one because it smells so good. I finished Soap and Glory Cleansing Balm, which is a makeup remover balm. It's not my favourite. I bought this back when I was trying out makeup removing balms and I got this one and I got the chamomile one from the body shop just so that I could you know try two different ones. This was my least favourite out of the two and it's not bad but it doesn't, it struggles with mascara and I feel like come on if you're claiming to take off my makeup you've got to get that mascara off. I don't love Soap and Glory skincare. I've not really had the best experience with it or maybe my skin just doesn't like it but I love their body stuff but skincare I'm probably going to pass in future but you know it was okay. I just had to use this, use another makeup remover and then wash my face which is an extra step that I shouldn't have to do. I've already replaced this with a oh a brand I don't remember. I bought it last month because I thought I was going to finish this. I actually only had 
uh, two use two uses left of this, but I mean it's not the worst, which is such a non-compliment. <laughs> Another not the worst item <laughs> is Nivea Day Cream. This came in a gift set. I'm not usually the biggest fan of Nivea skincare, like Nivea for moisturising purposes, their skincare. I have no complaints, but the moisturiser I find almost like too heavy or it just doesn't work with my greasy, greasy skin. Maybe uh, this was fine. It did the trick. It's just quite a, it's not even that little, 50, 50 mils, but I used it. I've moved on with my life. I finished Ombre Soleil SPF Serum. I like this, but it's only got three stars for like UVA, UVB. I don't remember which one. <laughs> I don't have the box anymore for this because it's finished, but it definitely was only three star rated and normally I'm very fair skinned. So I like to use a five star one or like four at the least. This was fine. I mean, it's Scotland's not the sunniest place usually. So it was okay for like springtime, but as we are now or have been experiencing a bit of a heat wave, I'm very glad to have moved on to my five star one. But this, the formula of this, my skin loves, just soups it up. You know, I, I like this. I just wish it was higher, higher number of stars on that UVA or B, I don't remember. The teeniest and tiniest serum, um, number five, Protect and Perfect. This came in a gift set. I can just see in the viewfinder, my nails are gross. Don't look at my nails. They are chipped. So, so chipped. I need to do them at some point. At some point I will. This, it was fine. It's so small that like I didn't use it enough to really have a strong opinion about it. I didn't hate it. And I would, I would use another one if I had it, but I didn't, I don't, I don't feel like you can really say too much about skincare in a positive way until you've used it, a hand, you know, more than a handful of times. It didn't do anything bad. So yeah, I absolutely love this. This might not show up too well. It is Ole Eye Gel. And I really just loved how cooling this was on my little sad, tired under eyes. I really liked it. I felt like my skin enjoyed it. And again, it just kind of like, it was just a kind of formula and consistency that worked really well with my skin. I have a Barry M lip balm. This is a, is this one tinted? No, this one isn't tinted. This is Clementine and it, is just it's my favorite lip balm is their lip mask i have a whole variety of different flavors and this one was just nice and a nice sort of summery scent but it also very moisturizing very hydrating i love these lip balms i have a whole gaggle of them around the house favorite Soap and Glory scrub of your life. I love a Soap and Glory bath product and this was a fantastic scrub. It did the trick and it smells amazing. I have not replaced this yet because I need to replace a whole bunch of things from the house. So I'm going to get a replacement for this. I just don't know what, but probably like the tub, but it will be a Soap and Glory one. I don't have it yet, but I, but I'm allowed to replace this because I don't have any other scrubs and it's summer. My skin might be out. I need to, you know, scrub it. More soap and glory with a tiny, tiny, uh, the righteous butter moisturizer. This is just a wee tester, not tester, but just a little one from a gift box. And I love this moisturizer. I have another one on the shelf behind where my camera is. <laughs> And I'm making my way through that one too. I really like this moisturiser and my skin really appreciates it too. I feel nice and soft and again, smell nice. I finished a primer. This is Barry M Warm Primer. I'm never sure if I'm warm or cold toned 
but I have a lot of redness in my skin which makes me think I'm warm toned. I'm just pale and I never really know. I, I, I'm i not really sure. I'm never really sure if primer works. I should maybe try makeup without pr primer. probably works, right? We're not all being tricked. Are we being tricked? Does primer work? <laughs> I'm currently using a different replacement primer that I've had it, it needs used and it's okay but I prefer the formula of this one so this is a, a favorite and it's a very affordable brand I, I love Barry M. I also loved my <laughs> Insta Lash mascara from Barry M. I don't need to buy any replacement mascaras I have a whole stack of them downstairs unopened still in their sealed packaging I love this one though so if if I didn't have any other ones, I probably would replace this. I really like the brush. I'll show you the brush. So it's kind of, it's a nice thick brush. There's the tiniest bit left on it, but like it's only on like the tip and I'm not gonna go on my eyelashes. It's served its purpose and I really like this. I also did a little unhaul of my makeup sash because I went through stuff and I was like, are there any things I know I'm not going to use? Not just this year, but like ever. So I have these two, which are uh, water activated colour eyeshadows. And I thought that I had a white one and a black one. I could try to do some eyeliner with them. I had a little makeup brush, a little pot of water and a dream. And it just did not work for me at all. I know I'm never going to wear these as eyeshadows. I pretty much stick to a very neutral or glittery colour palette so I know I won't use these and they've been opened so the timer starts now I'm gonna unhaul them I won't use them my stepkids are highly unlikely to use these eyeshadows as well so their purpose is done <laughs> from my books I have removed three books from my physical to be read stash I, I finished them I read them that's how you get off of that list. I also spent some money on some repurchase items and I got a book. So I didn't get that many new products this month. As I came to film, I realized I'd left some stuff downstairs. So we're just gonna go with it because I don't wanna have to go downstairs and come back upstairs again. So imagine this is me holding up a Boots own brand collagen What's it called? Tube? Container? Container? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I love this. I have this downstairs. This is, I've bought this. This is a repurchase. I've used this before. Really enjoy it. And I'm loving making my way through it again. I also got Revolution Pro Miracle Oil. This is new. This is a new product for me. So these two were replacing things I finished last month, but didn't actually buy the replacements for and this I use with my face crystal geisha I feel I'm pronouncing that incorrectly and I, I like it it takes just long enough to soak in that I get a good glide with it and I've not had any bad reactions to it so far so I think it's it's working for me I haven't used a lot of Revolution Pro skincare but I have used their makeup which I don't think they even sell anymore <laughs> or at least not in the palette I have I have a palette that like you used to have you used to be able to get like an individual thing and plop it in and basically make your own palette and I have one downstairs which has got empty spots in it but but they don't make it anymore so I can't fill up my, my I can't fill up my empty spots so I, you know it's great that they've got really good skincare but I would like to be able to fill up those empty spots when I need to. I don't need to right now, but it would be nice. And I kind of made a mistake and I bought something I don't need yet, but I will need it in July. I got Sally Hughes Vitamin C Serum. I thought I ran out of Vitamin C Serum, but I didn't. I I thought I was going to and, and no, I just, I got confused. So I bought this and I don't quite need it yet, but 
my friend Jane said this was really good so I bought it while I was buying the other things and I thought you know a friend raves about it I'm gonna I'm gonna accept that and and trust my friend and and try this plus I really like Sally Hughes I don't know her but I feel like if she's got a skincare kind of brand that I feel like she knows what she's talking about and I I, I trust her as much as you can trust a, a stranger on the internet so those three items cost me £31 and I bought one new book this month. I didn't, bu I didn't buy it this month, I paid for it this month, it was pre-order. That book is downstairs, so just imagine I'm holding up a copy of Sleep Like Death by Kaylin Bayron. I'm very excited to read this, I just didn't have time to read it before the end of June. I paid £7.49 for that book and now it's time to talk about my favourite things from June. I like to just pick my favourite things from like either my stash or like life. So things that I've enjoyed that I didn't have to go out and spend money on because low spend year. Love what you have. First thing, you can judge me if you like. I deserve to be judged. Perfect match on Netflix. I love a terrible dating show on Netflix. Apart from like, um, I don't like Too Hot to Handle and I don't like Love Island. I've never watched Love Island, but I don't think I would like it. But Perfect Match, bring all these people from these terrible, like they're terrible, terrible reality shows, most of which I watched <laughs> and like make them find their perfect match. Yes, I am so there for that. I loved it. I feel like some, sometimes when you get to the end of these shows, you're like, what, what was the point? What was, is, what was the point? Why did, why did they never think like, hey, maybe we live in the same country and could make it work? Nobody ever thinks about geography in these shows, but I love that. I have a Netflix subscription, so it's really nice to actually find really good things that I love and it's like Netflix knows every time I'm thinking about cancelling my subscription and it's like breadcrumbs and just offers me a terrible show. It's like, do you want more Love is Blind? Do you want more Perfect Match? Oh, we've got a new season of The Mole. And I'm like, oh, fantastic. Give me all of that. I believe Love is Blind UK is coming soon as well. My biggest dream is just to watch these shows and see somebody I know. That, that would be pretty cool. Uh, Outside of Netflix, I've been enjoying trips to the seaside in general. This month I went to the seaside twice. Aberdeen is a coastal city, so, you know, not really far from the seaside, but it's nice to, I've overdone my side parting, haven't I? It keeps going in my face, um, or there. <laughs> Yeah, so we went to the seaside just before the kids dance show and I went with my parents to go and spot some dolphins and it was just the most, I feel like there's something about the sea, as soon as I see it, I feel like it soothes my soul and I don't know why, like I grew up in a landlocked town, I, I don't know why the sea calls to me but I absolutely just, I love the sea, <laughs> it's just the best. It doesn't even need to be a nice day just the sea just needs to exist and I'm so happy to be there. Another of my favourite things is cherries. I think it's cherry season or just cherries are very widely available right now in the UK and I am munch munch munching my way through just punnets of them a week. I love them. They're my are they my favourite fruit? I think I think it would be fair to say that cherries are my favourite fruit at least right now, I'm loving them. I will be very sad when they are no longer in season and I know I will continue to eat them for longer than I should and I'll have those horrible watery ones and I'll just feel sad. But I'm loving, I'm loving cherry season. I'm also loving my birthday necklace from my friend Nicola. I've been wearing this very regularly. It's just so cute. I love it. And my final favourite thing, it's in my pocket because my dress has pockets. It is, am I even holding it up correctly? No. 
No Filter Lip Gloss by Barry M in the shade Peach. I got this la a while ago in a like not mystery box collection yeah in a collection I was getting I was getting makeup for one of my stepkids who had asked for makeup so I just got a whole bunch of like little kits and started like putting stuff together to be like here is a very age appropriate makeup collection for you that will go with your your hair your your complexion like you know really easy to use things that I hope you will like and this was sort of left over because it was a shade that like wasn't as exciting for a, a younger person when I was when I was doing that they got they got some glosses that were a little bit more exciting for them but this I was like oh like when am I gonna wear this and I forget one very key thing about lip gloss it is not a lipstick it doesn't go on like this colour, it goes on like this colour and it's much more muted than I thought it was going to be and I absolutely love this. I have been wearing this, it kind of been my most used lip gloss in June and I'm having a great time with it and it's it's an affordable lip gloss. What more can I ask for? So that is my June in review and I, yeah, I'm feeling really positive. I've been doing my low spend year for six months now and I feel like I'm doing okay. There are moments where I want to just go and buy myself a treat <laughs> and I'm trying, like I've, I've been successful so far in not doing so but it's kind of hard sometimes where you know you have a rubbish day and you think oh I'll just go and buy myself a bath bomb or I'll go and buy myself something nice. I suppose it's been helpful that Aberdeen's closed a lot of shops so we don't have a lot of places to go on a on a sort of whim. Although it would be lovely if we if we did have more shops you know for everybody else who's not on a low spend year it would be nice to have you know places to go. But so far I'm feeling really positive and I'm really excited to see how the next six months of the year go and to just keep using up things from my stash. I feel like I can actually see some progress. I managed to unhaul like a, a box. It was, it was empty but I'd used all of the items from that box. So I'm slowly but surely getting some space back in my home which was the entire goal of this kind of challenge is that I want to use my stuff before it goes off or I you know keep forgetting I have it and then just bringing more stuff in and our home is not the biggest so I can't really justify having like massive stash no I'm using stuff up and I'm really happy about it let me know something you've been enjoying over the last month something like the one of your favorites and thank you so much for watching. Bye.